Okay, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the third webinar hosted by Astropreneurs. Uh, the aim of uh, organizing webinars is to make uh, awareness about the impact of space in uh, by using space technologies uh, in uh, startups. Uh, so I'm happy to uh, announce the third one, which is now uh, focused on the space entrepreneurship pro uh, project. Um, I also would like to state that uh, this webinar will be recorded and therefore you have to agree with the, with the regulations uh, that you have signed um, while uh, registering. Uh, so now I will give you a brief overview about all the different uh, programs that you can uh, expect. Uh, each program will take up to 20 minutes so that you know uh, the timeline uh, for this uh, webinar. So first we will uh, start with Astropreneur, given by Carla Duarte, uh, located in Portugal. Uh, after her presentation, we will continue with uh, Act in Space, uh, which will be hosted by uh, Aurelie Baker. And then we end the presentation with Zo uh, Johanna Wesnick, uh, who will actually explain everything that you can do with your startup to um, scale up your business. Uh, so then I would like to give the word to uh, Carla Duarte with um, Astropreneurs. Okay. Um. Carla? Okay. Hello. Okay, great. Hopefully you are hearing me now. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I give you a very warm uh, good afternoon from Portugal and thank you for attending this um, webinar. I'm trying to move my slides, yes, and I'm going to give you an overview about Astropreneurs Project and what are the opportunities for the startups. Um, so, let me move the slides. Astropreneurs is turning space-related ideas into viable businesses and promoting opportunities from entrepreneurs coming from space and non-space sectors. This is our motto and what motivates us in leading this project during the 30 months that is happening. Uh, so, uh, we are uh, going on until the mid of next year. Uh, we, are, we are uh, a partnership of eight organizations. Here, IPN, Instituto Pedro Nunes in Portugal, is the happy coordinator of these organizations that are across Europe. Um, we are all belonging to the ESAVIX and ESA Brokers Network, and we have Kim. Uh, in Spain, Aerospace Valley in France, STFC in, in UK, Verhart uh, in Belgium, uh, we also have CESA in Germany, uh, Czech Invest in the Czech Republic, and Rimatec in Austria. Uh, even though we are just eight um, partners from eight countries, we really address all uh, on most of the European countries. Uh, this is a, a very short and visual overview about our project. So we stop, we start with the entrepreneurs, with the startups, with the SMEs that have uh, an idea, a business idea involving space. Uh, and through, through our mentoring, program, we give them mentoring on business, on technology, on funding, and uh, involve them in our network, and this will turn their initial business ideas in more viable business cases, and uh, accelerating their interest in the commercial phases. Uh, our two main actions are precisely the Astropreneur Space Startup Accelerator, where we are going to involve 150 startups. It's a mentoring program, uh, a free mentoring program that 
where, whereby we give 50 hours an average of mentoring to each startup on those three areas, business, technical and funding. Then we have uh, we are building also a space economy entrepreneurs network where we have the most relevant stakeholders uh, related to space, space entrepreneurship, innovation across Europe, and whereby we are going to involve uh, up to 500 entrepreneurs. So our work has started uh, by mapping. Mapping. Um, where are the most important organizations, startups, uh, universities, in, uh, research institutes um, across Europe? And as I told you before, even if we are uh, only eight partners from eight countries, we are really addressing and covering 20 European countries. So we have already mapped more than 1,000 organizations. Uh, I would like to highlight, and you can go these numbers, I like these numbers, and you can go to our website and go deep and understand how is our mapping and uh, what kind of organizations we are covering. So it's a very useful uh, tool to uh, know our ecosystem. Um, then we have this very, very important activity of the project, uh, which is the Asopna Space Startup Accelerator. We have an open call for startups and also for mentors. They run along um, and it is organized around six cutoff dates. We have already had the first three. The next one will be in September, then October, and then February next year. So the call is always open. The form is always accessible through our website. Uh, and then we, uh, at this, um, dates we evaluate the uh, proposals that we receive. Uh, how is the mentoring program organized? Well, uh, you make your application and if you are accepted, you will receive uh, uh, an average of 50 hours of mentoring during a period more or less of three months, more than less. Uh, usually it takes a little long and we adjust ourselves to the startup needs. Uh, we have um, mentors coming from all Europe also. We expect to engage at least uh, 100 mentors and well, with our all, overall activities, 500 entrepreneurs. But we will go deep on understanding a little bit more how we can do this process. So startups are wanted. We still need startups. We are in the middle of the project. We don't have already um, all the startups on board. From the 150, we expect we already have 75, but this means that we all we have. Uh, 75 places available for the next three cut of days. If you go to our website, uh, our uh, the application is access accessible very easily. Uh, and we use F6S platform to uh, uh, develop further your your business, uh, your business idea, or you are, you can be already working on the uh, a sector, on the space or a space related sector, and be a registered SMA, and you can also apply to entrepreneurs. Okay. Let me, okay. Uh, we have one, the slide went one more. It's one, back. yes, eligibility criteria. So we have to, to be eligible to apply to entrepreneurs. You have to meet several eligibility criteria um, for a startup that wants to apply to entrepreneurs. 
So to be eligible, as I told you, uh, you have to have a space-related idea based on a technology transfer from space to non-space sectors or use satellite data, or also you can be aiming to address directly my the, the, the space sector. You have to be located in a um, in EU member state or a, a country that participates in the age 2020 program. Of course, you have to be uh, above legal age, you have to c communicate in English, and you ca we can on only accept one application per uh, person and the project, your project has to be original. So, uh, let's move on to the evaluation criteria. So, uh, if you are uh, considered uh, illegible, then your application will be uh, assessed against a, a set of criteria. Um, first of all, uh, it, this criteria will be um, seen uh, on the contents that we have provided in the application. Uh, you have to score uh, more than 60 points to be um, accepted out of the maximum of 100. And uh, if you score below uh, 40, well, a zero will be given. We haven't yet given any zero. So, uh, hopefully, no one will get zeros. Um, uh, then, well, we are going to. I'm going to show you uh, how the evaluation criteria are in the questions that we have included in the application uh, form. Uh, we will read carefully the, all the questions. There is a TEB, a Tender Evaluation Board, that will agree on the, a score that we will give to each of the criterion and score uh, each application. Um, so, for the first question is, what is your business idea with, and the maximum would be 30 points. Then, for the space connection, what is the connection, the space connection of your business idea, a maximum of 30 points will be awarded also, and then, uh, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? 20 points. How will you use the entrepreneur support uh, to achieve your objectives? Will be also uh, 20, point, 20 points. But what does this mean? So we have a, a document that, that explains uh, all these evaluation criteria. Uh, and that, that document, you can access them to, uh, through our website. Uh, when uh, you go to the call for startups, then the, there is a, um, an icon with more, I, more information. If you click there, you will get a notes and guidance for applicant startups where this information is included. So when we ask for your business idea, what, you, what we want to know is about um, the value proposi proposition, the market and the com competition. And you have the explanation uh, of all these sub criteria. When you, we ask for the space connection, well, you have to describe uh, what is that uh, the technology that you are using, the space data, whatever is the, the, the space connection that uh, you are, or the space asset that you are using. And also explain uh, its technical feasibility of the product or service that you are de developing, uh, its strategy, and if you have uh, or not, uh, addressing the issues regarding intellectual property. Then, uh, considering your motivation, um, you, you have to explain your vision, um, your ex the experience and the team composition, what are the expected results that you, you will uh, ex uh, expect to obtain, and um, state your commitment to your project. Finally, regarding the expectations, uh, we will evaluate the adequacy of entrepreneurs to your needs, the added value that will bring to you, and how it will contribute uh, to the sustainability, um, and how, we will, uh, how you will, will you take the mentoring results forward after completing the program, okay? 
So as, you, as I told you, this is all uh, on the notes in Grandes do document that you can access through the website. So um, after the first three cutoff dates, we have already on board entrepreneurs, Space Startup Accelerator, 75 uh, startups. And um, we are at the middle of the project, so we can have on board another 75. Um, and we have from the 100 mentors, we have 80 mentors already with us also. Um, we are, where are these startups coming from? Well, as you can see, they, they come from several countries, um, many from Portugal, many from France, uh, not only from the partner countries, you, we all also have Slovakia, the Netherlands, Hungary, uh, but of course, we want to have much more um, startups from countries that are not in our partnership. We are a European country, so can, uh, startups from Finland, from Italy, from Romania, from Bulgaria, yeah, they are all welcome. Uh, and if you know anyone that can apply, please suggest entrepreneurs for them. Um, our our startups mostly they are early stage uh, they are in a pre-incubation uh, stage uh, lots of them are wanting to apply to an ESRIC. some of course also are already in in incubators we have several Capenix masters winners and some ESRIC alumni along with some also from coming from the industry but uh, really, we feel that our project is really um, addressing the needs from early stage and pre-incubation startups. Um, well, we also have, as I told you, mentors. We have accepted 80 mentors. They are coming from lots of European uh, countries. Um, Again, in our website, you can access mentors interested and can, can access the um, application form. And there is also a document with notes and guidance for applicant mentors that um, can be downloaded from the website explaining all the process. Um, so we also, to complement the mentoring, we have a uh, a training plan that is focused in several aspects. This is the training plan more on business and technical. Um, we have several several uh, training events. As you can see, you will be able to reach them through our website. Uh, yesterday we have a work we had a workshop here, but it was, it was in presence here in Portugal. It was about space law. Uh, we will release a video about that uh, and. Uh, today, later on, I will share some photos on our uh, Facebook. Uh, but as you can see, you can have information about uh, several uh, topics, agriculture, uh, artificial intelligence, environment, climate, IP protection. So all the very important uh, themes for the startups that are uh, using space technology. Uh, along with within the mentoring, we also uh, support uh, the startups with funding. So we we don't manage any funding, but we identify funding instruments that can be suitable to the startups that are with us. Um, so more than 100, uh, at least 143 funding instruments have already been mapped uh, from. Uh, uh, several several uh, countries ac across Europe. You will you can find them also uh, on the entrepreneurs website. Um, the first batch is of startups that are with us, and mostly the first batch already applied to several several funding instruments, and they requested more than one million euro. Um, they didn't get it all, but they applied to several funding. There is also a training plan on funding. Uh, as you can see, you will be also able to reach and access information about these trainings on our website. And these are the themes that already are, are being 
uh, suggested and uh, are going to be implemented, okay? Uh, okay, this is uh, a rough picture of our uh, space economy network. For this, we are just wanting to share with you that we have we are in on contact with all the players and stakeholders that are relevant for the space entrepreneurship ecosystem. Of course, the mentors, uh, our network uh, uh, of mentors, which is a very valuable asset, a set of European projects such as SpaceUp that is here, here today with us, uh, that also is addressing the, the space sector. Um, we have uh, the space uh, organizations such as ESA, the Copernicus, Galileus, CERN, uh, and several networks uh, that uh, are, are on the space sector, on the entrepreneurship sectors, such as the EBN, EEN, EBAN, SMF for Space, NEREOS, F-Success, F and we also map it the country organizations. We are involving them in bilateral and uh, networking events that we are organizing with them, and we are trying to come out with a, uh, uh, a way to uh, benefit our startups to with uh, fr from this this uh, enlarged network. So uh, this is the training plan that is now happening. As you can see, we are on our um, third webinar that is uh, addressing this uh, more wide audience and trying to outreach. Um, other persons from that are not that are not so space related to the space sector. Uh, for now, we have organized these three webinars, and uh, two more will go uh, after this. And we also will release some podcasts. That information about the event, the training events, will be uh, all in the uh, in our website. And for Talking about the website, this is our website. We have we are also uh, in several uh, social media, in Facebook, in LinkedIn, and Astropreneurs. I uh, suggest that you follow us in the ones that you are most likely to use. And we also have a newsletter that we release periodically to um, share the news about the project's implementation that, and what we are doing within the project. Okay, and uh, well, this is uh, this was what I had to, to share with you about entrepreneurs. I'm available for any question that you or any doubt that you can uh, um, make to us. And thank you for listening and for being here in the webinar. Okay, great. Aurélie, are you uh, ready to present? Yes, <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> Some trouble with my okay. microphone. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I would say uh, let's go and um, good luck. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Um, so, uh, my name is uh, Aurélie Baker, I'm working in a French space cluster in the south of France and um, okay. And uh, today I will um, talk about acting space, uh, so I'm, um, okay, talking, perfect. Um, so just um, before talking about acting space, I just would like to, uh, to give you some example of startup. Uh, so here you can you can see some logos um, of Osol, for example, is a startup working um, in the energy sector. Uh, they developing uh, uh, some um, generator. Uh, Track my feet is uh, it's a sort of uh, uh, I think a, a coach, uh, a digital coach. Uh, right technology working on drone. Disable Block is uh, developing some program for uh, for helping people. Help people made in planets. Um, help you um, uh, for uh, when you uh, for modeling some plants. And Exaco is uh, working in 
big data. So when you you uh, you think this different search type, you can it's difficult to figure out what is the common point between them. And the common point is acting space because because all uh, the founders of this startup uh, participated to act in space. They came to this uh, contest and they uh, and they found an idea and they created a startup. So um, this uh, this example can show how space is everywhere, and uh, we can create startup in various uh, sector thanks to space. And um, and there are different ways uh, to create a startup. You can, uh, uh, for example, make some uh, technology transfer, and or you can use some data from space. So before to, to talk about acting space, I just would like to, to start one minute on these two different points, because it's important to know that uh, there are a lot of patents available um, in, in some uh, space agency, for example, the, for, in the French space agency or the European space agency, and the, these patents are available for everyone. For everyone, and you can uh, ask to to use them to have some licensing uh, with, for this patent, and you can develop a startup a startup uh, from this patent. Or you can also develop some services uh, using some data from space and today there are a lot of data available for free like with the Copernicus program and uh, some uh, some big companies are also uh, offering data for free you can test for free some data uh, some height resolution data so there are a lot of possibility um, and opportunity to create a startup using uh, space data or space technology and participate to an hackathon. Uh, it's a good uh, starting point to find a uh, brilliant idea and to create a startup. Okay. 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 Oh, sorry. Uh, so now I, I will uh, talk. I will uh, give you more information about Acting Space. So, um, Acting Space has been created by um, by the French Space Agency, the CNES, and uh, we did a mix uh, between two two concepts. Um, the first concept is a, it's hackathon. So, the, the hackathon is a is a sort of collaborative event um, started or by the open source community. Uh, in the beginning. Um, generally, it's a short event, about 24 or 28 hours. And the Startup Weekend, it's more focused on um, uh, all about startup, uh, um, business plan, and so on. But it's a longer event, about 40, uh, 54 hours. And Acting Space is a mix between these two concepts, and we created an, an event, a 24 hour event focusing on startup. Um, so, when we, when we, uh, in, in the beginning, when the, the French Space Agency uh, created uh, Acting Space, uh, we, we, we had a lot of discussion about uh, uh, what we can do for stimulating uh, the creation of startup. And one of our, they aim and our aim is to build a bridge between the civil society and the space and the space, ag the space agencies, sorry, in order to, to help them to use the, the patent developed for the space sector and re reuse this patent in other fields. It's also, um, uh, acting space is also a good way to help people to develop their, their entrepreneurial spirit, uh, because we um, the the team the participants uh, have also 24 hours to find an idea, and when uh, you are uh, in a room, you have only 24 hour. Uh, you have to think. You have to find out something to pitch before a jury. So a lot of um, a lot of idea came came out, and uh, it's a very it's a very good uh, way to find ideas. So uh, our aim is well to to 
create an event to stimulate uh, this idea. And um, another point is to show uh, how space sector uh, can create startup in various fields. So that, that's the, the, the goal uh, about Acting Space. And um, about the story of Acting Space, uh, Acting Space uh, has been created um, in 2014. And the first edition was only in France, uh, only five cities. And uh, it was a real success. Uh, some startup has been created in, uh, after this first edition. So we decided to move on the next level. And um, the ESA, uh, I, um, we, we contact ESA and uh, uh, the European Space Agency decided to become a co-partner, a co-organizer of Acting Space. And in uh, 2016, we, we, we launched a European edition with uh, 20 cities and uh, 12 um, countries. And the, the last edition, we uh, uh, we, we went uh, world, we went uh, global and we organized a worldwide edition. So here are some figures, and uh, what is very interesting it's not the, um, that the, the event is growing and growing, and our expectation for the next edition of Acting Space is to uh, to have 50 countries and 100 cities all over the world. And um, the most important point about Acting Space is that we really we create we help to create startups. Uh, since the first edition, uh, 35 startup uh, has been created thanks to Acting Space. Uh, and uh, from our feed feedback, I we thought it's because most of the challenges proposed for Acting Space are based on patents. So the participants uh, have already some technology developed, so they have to. to after that, they have only to focus on on, on the business uh, part. Uh, so it's a really uh, success, successful ev event. So uh, if you are interested, the next edition is next year. So <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> so here are just a map, uh, and you can see the, the progression the, in in. Uh, in blue, you have two different blue. The the light one, it's the first the country who, uh, who organized Acting Space in the first edition, and uh, the I, I dark blue maybe. Uh, you uh, you can see the um, the country who organized Acting Space uh, during the second edition, first and second edition. Uh, so Acting Space is the con is a, a contest in three steps. The first one is Akaton. Uh, each country uh, organizes acting space simultaneous in the different um, cities. So, um, uh, simultaneously, uh, so uh, <laughs> pretty simultaneously, I would say, because um, in the last edition, the, when the New Zealand finished, the California uh, started. So, <laughs> uh, actually, it's uh, more like uh, an event, the event uh, during more like the uh, 48 hours and uh, 24, but each city is organized an event uh, during 24 hours. And um, after the local event, um, if a country uh, organizes uh, the event in different cities, uh, uh, a national final is organized. And after that, all the um, teams, the national teams, all the winners uh, come in Toulouse for an international final. Oh, I I forgot to change the date here. So here is the date for the next uh, edition of Acting Space. So we will have uh, the Akaton, um, the local Akaton in April, and between April and May the national final, and in June 2020 uh, the international final in Toulouse. And we are hoping to 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 welcome uh, 50 different countries. Um, so here it's an example of challenge proposed for acting space. So all the challenge are um, validated. Okay, are validated by the by the French Space Agency, 
and uh, most of the challenges are based on patents provided by the French Space Agency and the European Space Agency. Uh, most recently, we also provided some challenge uh, based on data provided by some partner like Airbus or CLS and, um, and during the event some uh, data, uh, even height resolution data are available for free for the participants in order they can uh, uh, test with what it's um, possible to do with this, uh, this kind of uh, data. And there are a lot of uh, different kinds of challenges uh, available on plenty of topics like health, agriculture, uh, artificial intelligence, drone uh, and, and so on. Um, Acting space um, is also a good way to uh, to uh, to win uh, amazing prizes. So the first prize is the trip. It's um it's a flight in a, a zero gravity flight. So you can test what um, the sensation when when you are in uh, floating in space, uh, and also uh, a business trip a business trip in France. And uh, the winning team is coming uh, in Toulouse and in Bordeaux, and we uh, introduce the team to our partners, and uh, we uh, organize we organize a lot of uh, business meeting with different partners in order to help them to to uh, to know uh, the, uh, how um, the, the space sector in France. And different sponsor uh, in 2018 offer also different um, different prizes, uh, amazing prizes like uh, Airbus, JSA, also uh, the investor, uh, e, um, investor group Eben Spaces will offer a uh, women entrepreneurship prize. So uh, I just would like to say that uh, um, create a startup in space is not only for, uh, for men, it's also for women and we are <laughs> believe that women uh, for, uh, in space are excellent uh, um, women can create excellent startup in space, so we're promoting uh, women uh, entrepreneurship. <laughs> so uh, here are some figures about uh, the competitor profiles. So um, despite I just I was say, <laughs> unfortunately, lots of participants are ma male, and uh, we uh, we we are hoping to. Uh, to have more and more women uh, in the active space competition. And uh, generally, the, um, the participants are pretty young. But uh, recently, we, we, we have uh, more and more uh, people who, uh, for example, they, they are boring in their job and decided to participate to event, uh, to, a, to, an, to an hackathon to find a new project for, for the live. And, uh, uh, so maybe sometimes they have some idea in um, in their job. Uh, they're working on a project and they came to uh, Acting Space or the hackathon to test their idea. And after the hackathon, they decide to create a startup. Um, so uh, most of the participants are students, but um, it's correlated to, 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 to the age of the participants, but um, we, uh, we saw that uh, the, um, about 30% of participants are, are already employed somewhere and they just want to, to come and, uh, and try to find a, a new idea or, or new uh, uh, test something new. Uh, most of the participants are engineers uh but we uh, uh we have some good part of um uh so sorry we're trying to attract more people coming from um, um business school and so on because we we trust that when we have a um, team with different skills uh you have a better chance to win uh, so here is just some picture about the, um, the award ceremony. So um, generally, the, the, the international final uh, happen in, uh, during the Toulouse Space Show. It's a big uh, event in the space sector. And uh, the jury is composed by uh, people uh, with a very high level. And um, 
we have uh, some VIP representative uh, during the international final. Um, so um, before finishing, I just would like to give you uh, some example of benefits uh, to participate to an hackathon um, or a startup weekend. So here I promote Acting Space, but, but I know there are a lot of other events like Acting Space, some uh, hackathon um, in Europe. Uh, for example, the Copernicus Hackathon uh, and so on. And uh, participate to an hackathon is a good way to meet new people, to find inspiring ideas, and to um, to discover that um, even if you are you're not working in the space sector, you can uh, find an idea of uh, services based on the um, on space data, for example. And you can meet people who are the uh, the technologic uh, skills maybe to 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 play with the data, but uh, you can um, find an idea, a good idea, uh, and create a startup in space sector, even if you're not working in the space sector. And it's also a good way to develop your network because generally in this kind of event you are you can find a lot of coaches and experts, and they are generally more than available to uh, to meet you after the event and help you to create your startup. So don't hesitate, come to uh, to this kind of event and uh, and uh, and be the maybe the, the next uh, success story uh, in uh, in space sector. So I think um, I, I finish. So <laughs> if you have some question, I, I will be av available at the end of the of the webinar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Aurelie. Uh, I would also would like to add that uh, all the information about this webinar, uh, Act in Space, can also be found on the website of Astropreneurs. Um, and you can always contact her uh, directly. Uh, and then, yeah, we will continue with the last uh, speaker, um, Joanna Wesnick, with uh, assisting European space startups in scaling up. Uh, so, Joanna, please, uh, I give you the word. Uh, good luck. Thank you. So, I'm Johanna Wesnick. I work for the Space Up project, which is a sister project to Astropreneurs. Actually, we are funded in the exactly same core. And so I will explain a little bit the similarities and the differences and try not to repeat too much of what Carla has already said. Our title is Assisting European Startups in Scaling Up, with a focus on space again. So, as you can see on our banner, our focal area is not the 50 hours of mentoring, but six space academies. And I will come back to that shortly. This was at the IAC when we were just starting our project. And we are running half a year later than Astropreneurs, but we will also end one year later because we have planned for slightly longer. We have 10 partners. I'm working for Avia Space in Bremen, which is a space cluster. We also have Iban, who was already mentioned, the European Business Angel Network as partner, a Fraunhofer Institute, the International Association of Science Parks doing our promotion work, the GI Group, which is international and focuses on human resource development, a consulting company from the north of Italy, promoting this area, but also providing financial advice. Also, maybe quite interesting and mentioned before, SME for Space, an organization of small and medium enterprises to promote the interests of all European SMEs in Brussels. Then we have a crowdfunding partner from Italy called 200, in small organization called Hypatia, which is very close to the Italian space sector. And last but not least, Lazio Innova, which represents the area around Rome and also is host to an ESA BIC, like our colleagues in Portugal. I think it's the only one in Italian. So they are promoting space entrepreneurs and also regional interests. 
we uh, just to show you in our um, concept we have two major work packages one is led by ibs the other one by iban focusing on the scouting and assessment of startup needs definition of our support activities and mainly on the delivery of coaching and mentoring during the space academies the rest is either helping to manage the project that's what i'm doing or to help find out whether the space academy format may be useful to continue after this three-year project has finished for this we do monitoring evaluation and also study on, on the replicability and i hope we can get close together with the astropreneurs network in this respect So what are the aims of space up we would like to contribute at european level to safeguarding and this is really important further development of a competitive and entrepreneurial space industry so in, in detail to ease the transition of existing european space startups to become mature companies which is aiming at slightly a different stage of the startup lifespan our activities are similar, but you will see we will focus, of course, on the later stages. And I come back to that. And we will have six space academies in six different European countries, which are directly helping at least 60 startups to come closer to market exploitation. For example, selling their products in different markets from their home country or opening up to different sectors as well. Here you have our duration. So we have not even almost finished one year now and it will continue until may 2021 our core activity as i said is the space academy now i want to focus what does it mean it's only a two-day event it's the first day call it also the workshop day is an intense day where entrepreneurs can improve their skills and get insights from experts on various topics and we will have workshop sessions with small groups as well as one-to-one -one, i.e individual mentoring and coaching sessions and roundtable meetings so there will be a lot of networking and discussion and it's really a training and workshop day which is also a close club there will be only 60 or maybe a few more startups and the experts on this day the second day is quite different we call it also the conference day there will be panels and keynotes depending on the local circumstances you will see they can differ but 10 of the 60 and i'll come back to that how they are selected they will be able to pitch during this conference day the six most advanced companies will like this pitch to an audience which is representing of course space industry financing industry venture capitals successful entrepreneurs and all sorts of organizations because we don't want just to have the startups together that is more on this day we want them to open say to the rest of the world to the established industry so that was one too much can i go back I'm trying to go back one slide, but I can't see the command. Thank you. Okay, so these are our two days, which are our core business, but of course there will be some preparation for this. And I skipped the slide, I think I've said it all. So, just first of all, you have to apply to register for our Space Academy, which is for free and we'll take as many as we can, but we need a few of a um, certain amount of information, mostly what um, Carla presented under eligibility criteria. Of course, we have to check that you are like serious about the startup business in our case, that you come from Europe or from an associated country and, and things like that. For the 10 most viable cases, we will focus on an evaluation where there are some more criteria for example a rather high trl which stands for technology readiness level that means we are trying to find those startups 
which are already in the scaling up or accelerating phase. We will select from the 60 and maybe more um, applications, about 30, who, are, who seem to be advanced and you have to submit a business case, a business plan for this. And then we have a quite a high level space up evaluation committee, very similar to Carla's TEB, who will then select with much more detail the, the 10 most advanced from the say up to 30 we have pre-selected. They will get, and this is important because everybody can attend who has applied and is eligible, but these 10, they will get additional individual support. And this will start several months before each space academy. For example, feasibility studies, I'll come back to that. But because of this, we really have to, to close the registration also to make it possible to prepare for these 10. They will get all what is um, listed on the slide. They will receive um, documentation in four different aspects based on their business plans, which is done by four different experts. They will be allowed to take part in up to six individually selected one-to-one -one mentoring and coaching meetings. And what I said already, they, on the next day, they will pitch in front of a large audience. And last but not least, they will get a lump sum, which may not cover all of the travel expenses, but will help to, to save money and to be able to come. Additionally to that, they will participate in, in a network dinner. We may still, we may get everybody into the network dinner that depends on the local costs. And especially the 10 selected will be invited to the final event because we want to see whether our input has led to any success in the medium term. So the selection process, I think that's important. So the calls are open to European space sector startups and entrepreneurs. We are not strict about the space sector. Using data from space is enough because we want to enhance, <coughs> sorry, spin in and spin out approaches. All participants can attend both days. But when we have the applications, we will have this review by the evaluation committee to see who would profit most from this individual training. Because for this, I think you need to be advanced in your business plan and you need to have questions on scaling up already. So here's a general outline of our two days. And I would like to shortly focus on, on these six modules because this is what everybody can profit from. And they will range from business angels advice to European funding advice, which also Carla mentioned. But of course, depending on your stage, there may be different funding options for you. I think something unique is that we also have this crowdfunding expert, that we have business model experts, Depending on the location, there will be spin-in, spin-out activities. For example, um, artificial intelligence is one idea which is strong here in Bremen. And I actually take an expert from Bremen with me to our first academy, which happens in Helsinki pretty soon. In Bremen itself, we will try to forge contacts to the maritime industry, which is here very big. And we profit a lot, for example, from satellite data, which I think a lot of spin and um, startup companies are also interested in applying. And last but not least, the European space ecosystem is especially also how to get ESA funding, which is quite different from the normal EU funding, the ESA submission system. These will be repeated so that if you come with one participant, you can take part in two of the modules. If you come with two participants, you can take part in four of the modules. In between, there will be the meeting tables and lots of opportunities for networking. The second day, I won't go into much detail because it will be different. And I'll show you one program which we have. But you can see it will be panels. Then there will be the pitching. There will be keynote speeches. And we really want to embed the pitching into the general program so the entire audience like has to listen to your pitch, which I think may trigger different questions and different contexts than having it in a separate room somewhere. This is a program for Finland, 
where the registration unfortunately is closed, but you could still register for the IBAN Congress. And this is why I want to focus on the second day, which is part of the IBAN Congress program, which is in, joined with the Finnish business angels. And you can see, for example, that there will be things like current trends and early stage investment, including the space industry, or how is space tech different from other sectors from an investor's point of view, or why are space technologies the new hot investment sector? So that is very much investors focused, which is a, a strong point of our partner IBAN, the European Business Angel Network. Then I, we have already just um, finished the flyer for the second Space Academy, which will happen here in Bremen in November this year. And here the second day will be embedded in the so-called Space Tech Expo, which is a very different format. It's more a conference and exposition where companies will show their latest products and it will be very much focused on space. This conference you can participate for free and we would encourage everybody to register for this. The registration is already open. And we have uh, the workshop topics will be similar because this is where our areas of expertise are, but the second day will be quite different. And the conference, our so it overlaps on this day, but the conference, I come back to that, will last for two more days. We have not opened yet because we have to get our Helsinki event done before, but probably in two weeks we will open. And I am. I have to say that back. Good. So I think I have covered this. This is just to show you who is the expert here. Funds, investment readiness, business models, and so on. But I have not covered the second one, which are the individual models or one-to-one -one modules, which is really individual coaching of selected 10 startups. And I think here it gets quite interesting. For example, access to finance, through credit passports with a link to Moody's, the real professional rating will be done. You can only do that on an individual basis. Technology transfer and financial expertise, anal analyzing the finances of your business plan will be done by Hapatia. Also this I think is much better on an individual level. Human resource development, they will come with several experts here depending on the needs of the applicants whom we have selected for the first one, meeting business angels, cross technology solutions, and also maybe developing or changing your business models. So this I think is the hardcore expertise of our group, which you can profit from if you are selected. Okay, to, to repeat the dates at one view, this um, for, for this conference, I think you can still register for the IBAN conference, but it's not cheap. It will be followed by the Arctic 15 conference, also a, an interesting startup event, also still open. Just we had to close our registration. In November, that will be the second. The Space Tech Expo is still open and we will soon open our registration. But I can advise, and I will do it again on the last slide, please sign up for our latest for our newsletter because then you will be automatically informed once we open a new call. We cannot keep them open all the time as, as Carla can do with her approach. So this is a, that looks different now. Just that you have an idea about the Space Tech Expo. Some things were cut out. If you book a stand, that will cost money because that is the way they finance it but you can apply to speak, you can register for free already now, and maybe interesting to quite a lot of, of um, startups, there is a special small satellites section now also in the conference. They booked a second hall because this is really the hot topic. And I was hoping the website would be visible, but I think you will find it if you remember Space Tech Expo Europe. Right now there's one going on in the United States. Okay, if this year is on too short notice, it's no problem. We plan four more Space Academy. Three will happen next year, actually in very nice locations. One will be in Rome, one will be in Seville, 
and then there will be one in Poland and probably another one in Brussels. And the final event will also be in Brussels. We would like every startup to take part only in one space academy so we can reach a maximum. And I have to say, we don't want them to be in the astropreneurs mentoring phase and attend a startup. We think it makes much more sense if you go through the astropreneurs mentoring first and then apply for a, one of our space academies. And from the timing, that should work quite well. We are aiming a bit more at, at the stage, like when you leave an ESA big, for example, that would make sense that you get some additional training or, for example, when you have gotten this quite individual 50 hours of mentorship with astropreneurs. So there's more to come here. And you can see that the rough schedule is already there. Yes, that was what I wanted to say. I think I have one and a half minutes to go. That's good. And we have changed our website. So what you should, what is easier to memorize is now it's www.space-academy.eu. The other one still works. There you can subscribe for a newsletter. You can watch a short video. And we also have a LinkedIn and a Twitter channel. And I think maybe we should get together more with um, the other two projects to, to put things into the LinkedIn because there are so many fascinating things happening and it would be a nice channel to share. Thank you for your attention and I would open the floor for questions. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Joanna. And uh, yes, you're right, as you uh, can actually see, um, all those different projects uh, support each other. So first you can uh, enroll yourself for support with the uh, entrepreneurs. If you want to sharpen your uh, business activity or your ID, you can uh, join a, a hackathon. And um, in a later stage, then uh, Joanna can support you by enlarging and scaling up your businesses. Um, so this was the third webinar, but before we end, uh, I would like to give um, this webinar a couple of minutes to uh, for questioning. So please, if you have any questions, you can uh, write them in the tab uh, and then we can allocate uh, uh, it to the right uh, person. So apparently everything was uh, super clear, uh, which is uh, great. Um, but I still have a question for Carla. Uh, so actually, Carla, uh, with entrepreneurs, you're in the middle of uh, of the program. I have seen that. Um, I have seen that uh, that you have. Um, already supported 75 uh, startups of the 150 after three batches. I also saw that uh, there is no, I mean, no many uh, uh, startups are applying for uh, financial support. Uh, so I actually assume that uh, they prefer to have a, a more creative uh, mentoring or business uh, driven support or am I completely incorrect? No, Louisa. No, Louise, you are right. So what is happening? Why are not, we not going so deep for funding? Uh, don't the startups want funding? Yes, they do want funding. Nevertheless, these are very early stage startups. Um, the most, most of our startups are in their uh, early stage. Uh, they are starting now, so, yeah. so what they need most is to refine um, their business plan and their also to address some technical issues. Uh, and even if they need money, they do need money, they do need funding, they don't go for um, high levels of high numbers of funding. So they are reaching for their first 5K, 50K maximum. They are in a pre incubation phase. So they are testing their. Uh, initial prototype or constructing, building their prototype. So 
um, they are actually they are not meeting in um, big amounts of money, but they are getting funds. And we, with the support of astropreneurs, some of our startups really already um, uh, get got some results and got their 50 case to uh, by joining as big uh, across Europe. So they are getting money. Okay, great. So um, we are definitely able to support uh, startups uh, with entrepreneur to get uh, some financial uh, support. Um, then I would like to uh, have one uh, question for uh, Aurelie. I, uh, I have seen that uh, apparently uh, businesses um, and during the hackathons not many uh, companies are attending and even the women are uh, lacking in their uh, in, in their um, appearances. Is there a way how we can um, approve this uh, and, and, and raise up those numbers? Uh, so, so sorry, um, there are some trouble with my, my son. Can you just repeat the question, please? So what I saw uh, after your um, analysis is that yes. Um, yes. many of your participants and during the hackathons are actually uh, um, our students, uh, but not many companies are attending. I assume that those uh, companies are more organizing those hackathons or? Yes, uh, generally the companies are more organizer or partners or sponsor. Uh, for example, Airbus is one of our main Sponsor, but they are also partners. They provide some challenges. They provide coaches um, and so on. So, but sometimes um, there are some some companies are also doing some promotion of the Akachan uh, internally, and we have some uh, some participants from these companies. I don't know if, uh, if I'm answering the no, question. No, no. Absolutely, no, that's, uh, that was uh, definitely on point. Um, and if, if, if you're uh, interested in organizing a hackathon, how, how will the procedure continue? Uh, can I find more information on the website or should I contact you uh, directly? Yes, if you if you are willing to organize Act in Space, of course you can uh, contact me. Uh, you have uh, through the website or LinkedIn on, on so on. Uh, we are um, we starting the um, the recruitment of uh, new cities, so uh, I'm I will be more than happy to have new contacts. Yeah. Okay. No, that's great. Uh, so then we will definitely share all your contact details uh, on the website of uh, Astropreneurs after this uh, webinar. Um, I have seen that we have uh, received a question uh, concerning the ESA incubation startup. Um, I can, I will be able to answer this uh, question. Um, so the actual uh, idea is actually to first uh, try out a hackathon to to have a uh, general idea about your business cases. Um, but then, besides, you can also apply for an entrepreneur, whereby the entry to become uh, a member of the ESA Big will become uh, less uh, difficult. Um, so I would actually suggest or uh, um, yeah, give the information to first do those two steps before uh, applying for an ESA Big uh, application. Uh, or is there one of my colleagues I would like to add uh, on uh, on the question? Yeah. No. Okay. So I hope uh, I was uh, I was um, able to give you the proper answer. Uh, and then I would like to end with the last question uh, for uh, Joanna. Uh, I saw that you uh, are going to organize uh, space academies. Um, I actually assume that uh, it's you have to be be there in a physical uh, uh, way and uh, I was actually wondering uh, would it be able to to see those uh, academies uh, afterwards like a recorded version podcast or something alike yes good question the idea is of course for the individual training that you come 
but we will eventually videotape the, the workshop modules and put them online. Not for the first one, because this is all a bit of a trial stage, but in, we will start in Bremen. And we yes. wanted to, to keep the momentum up. But it will, of course, be only the workshops. You will miss the networking and you cannot be eligible for the individual coachings and, and so on, because here we have to um, be very, uh, to treat everything confidential. But we plan to, to document just the workshop modules for future use. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your uh, uh, prompt uh, answer. Um, yeah, I would actually uh, would like to uh, make a little bit awareness about the upcoming webinar, uh, which will be uh, based, uh, which will be held uh, in June, 12th of June, and uh, it concerns uh, technology transfer. I have invited uh, uh, one broker and the prime broker, so please, it will be definitely interesting. Uh, and then I would like to uh, end uh, this uh, third webinar, and I would like to thank you all for participating uh, and especially to the audience to uh, take your time to listen to our third broadcast. Thank you. Okay, so, thank you. So one question, would you be interested that I inform our technology transfer partner Hypatia? Yes, we can do that. Maybe that might be interesting. And there seems to be yes. some methodology of space ID project which has okay. been before our projects which we will have an external expert who will kind of teach us this methodology so maybe okay that would be great okay yeah. we'll do okay, okay. okay. i'll contact you uh, right away okay thank you for uh, for everything thank you for the opportunity thank you, thank thank you very much bye. thank you bye bye